Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the Forex bot with another live trading example on the real Forex account. Victor with you here and today we will be looking at a yet another strategy. But before we start, I would like to remind you that the, all the information here is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. In this strategy, I will be using very, very simple tools. In fact, there are only three of them. It's a trend line, commodity channel index indicator, and 200 moving average. I'm using one or five minute chart to draw my trend line. And just to make it easier, I use five minutes to zoom it out, but overall it's a one minute. It's a short period strategy where we don't actually wait for too long. The tick profit is small and should be reached pretty fast. Now, what is the strategy all about? Basically, what we need to do is to draw simple trend line. And in order to do that, there is a trick. It's not the regular trend line that we, you would normally draw like that. I mean, there is no right or wrong way to draw the trend line, although the way I use it is quite different. It's not me personally, but it's just a strategy that tells me to do that. Now, what I'm waiting for for the entry, I'm sorry to, to go a bit further, but I need to close CCI above the oversold level, and this will be our entry point, which seems we might have in just uh, 20 seconds. So let's just wait for this candle to close. If it closes above, I am going to initiate the trade, and then we'll explain you what actually I did. I will go with uh, 2.5 loss with this trade. Let's see if it closes above or not. Yes, it did. Okay, I just initiated the buy trade with a 2.5 loss on the Australian dollar versus United States dollar on the one minute chart. Now, obviously, the entry signal was the CCI close above the oversold condition. This is for the buy trade. If that would be a sell trade, obviously, it had to close from overbought level. So here we're using a five minute chart basically, but overall, I'm using one minute chart is just to, to show you the bigger picture. But on the one minute chart, you can see this trend line. I will zoom it out. We just got it from the top. And the way I draw it is that, so I use the very last wave down to draw my trend line through. So this is the, the last wave that produced actually the bottom. And the thing is that with every single bottom, we would be doing that. We would be drawing these trend lines to see whether it will fit our strategy. And overall, uh, I was looking for the break and close above this price, above the trend line. We did close, but at the same time, price must break and close above the second point of our trend line. This is the rule of the breakout. So we need to break both the trend line and the last point where the trend line was drawn through. Once we have that, we wait for the price to go higher. If, for example, this candle will continue further, would close here, our entry point would be there at this stage. We would enter somewhere here, but we failed to close above this resistance, which means that we had to wait until the breakout of this level. Once price did break, we waited yet again for the commodity channel index to go to oversold condition. Once it is there, our entry point would be close above the oversold zone. And this is what we did. Now, another thing that we need to keep in mind is obviously the trend. Why the priority was to buy, but rather than sell. I use one hour chart and I need to make sure that price is above 200 exponential moving average. This is ideally. At the same time, guys, also important thing is to watch for commodity channel index to be in oversold condition. These are the two rules on the one hour time frame. But entry is made on one minute chart. Yes, it's a short entry. We're looking for this kind of oversold zones. So imagine we only taking sell trades over there. Like for example, if we look here, it the, the trend line would look like this. All right. And we would be looking for this sort of breakout. And here we go. This was the breakout. The CCI was on the top, although here, look, it was on the top again and we met our condition. CCI was in overbought zone 
and we were below the 200 moving average. So yet again, trend line break, that would be our sell trade. Removing that, going back to one minute chart. Now we need to place stop loss, take profit. Stop loss, obviously, just below this price. We usually take one or two pip lower, it depends on the currency pair, but for this strategy, you can even place it just one pip below. Overall, I, what I do is less volatile currency pairs. I use two pip stop loss less than the low. And if it's higher volatile or Japanese, for example, it's a uh, euro Japanese yen or great British pound versus New Zealand dollar, which is very volatile. I use five pips. So here I would be using two pips stop loss and we will place it 65.815. Okay, our stop loss is right there. Now for take profit. We don't actually look for much profit here. Our aim is to make risk reward at least two to one. But at the same time, you can use, for example, previous high to take as a target. Like if we go to one hour chart, this could be our target previously made high. This is actually the highest point of our take profit. Let's just place it over there. Okay, so we have the highest point, like for example, on this sell trade, our target would be approximately at this stage and take profit just above, basically vice versa. Uh, it looks pretty similar in that case. And here we had a very good decline. Uh, overall, it's at least double bottom we would expect. And here we would expect market at least to range. Don't, I, we don't expect much from it, but this would be enough for us to make a decent, decent profit. So here we are already going into profit, which is very, very nice. And our target is actually at the double top. You can also use for this strategy risk reward ratio formula, where your risk is two times smaller than your potential reward. So for example, current risk that we have is around 13 pips, which means that we would need to have a 26 pip target. And that would make it approximately at this price at 66.22. That could be our first target. We can already take profit at this stage. And you can see there is a resistance. This is where the market actually rejected the 200 moving average on one minute chart. Why not to use it? We can easily uh, put there a take profit as well. I just made the calculation that our take profit to meet the risk reward two to one has to be at 26. That's the nearest point to meet the 2 to 1 risk reward profile because of the spread. Previously, I didn't consider the spread, but this would be our nearest target where we can already close the trade. But overall, you can see it here, double top. I will just put it slightly higher just to make it exactly double top. And this is the target I'm looking for. Uh, our risk reward is actually going to be higher. It's about 2.5 to 1. This is enough. Uh, I think this is more than enough. And hopefully this trade will reach dark quite soon. It's a one minute chart, but still we can we can uh, wait for a couple of hours on this trade to go. So that's as simple as that. I will summarize on the strategy once we have some price action and I can comment on that uh, with the rules and so on. But you can see that the strategy is very simple and even when it seems that it's a counter trend, it's actually on the longer term, it's a trend following strategy. Although it also can be used for range trading. For example, if we look here, it seems like there is a range. It's double top here and it's almost form a double bottom at this stage. It also worth noting that the price has bounced twice already of the 200 moving average on one hour time frame, which is extremely positive and price can actually start rising much further than this high. But we don't care about that. We just follow the strategy, stick to the rules, and that's it. Always follow the rules. There is no need to get extra profit and so on. Just uh, work your way through the strategy, understand it, and just make profit and enjoy. Okay, we will update you soon as to what will be the outcome, so stay tuned. Okay, we are back to our trend line break strategy. And from what you can see, we have reached our take profit finally. On the chart, you can see our entry point, which is an arrow. 
and another arrow is our take profit actually. The stop loss on the chart is marked with the red line. That's where our stop loss was initially. You can see it right there. And our take profit was here on the highest point, basically on the point where we started to draw our trend line. Overall, it took our trade 200 bars to reach the take profit, which actually equals to 16 hours. Yes, it did take quite long, and you can see that the market did range quite a bit, although we managed to reach the take profit and, and price went even higher. But I would expect this uptrend to continue since we see the bounces of the 200 moving average. Nevertheless, let's come back to our strategy and I would like to summarize on what has happened. We have entered a long on Australian versus United States dollars trade on 0 0.65963 with a stop loss at 0 0.65815 and take profit at 0 0.66362. This made our stop loss equivalent to 15 pips and take profit 40 pips. In our case, the risk reward ratio was 2.6 to 1, which is much higher than what we usually want. And the standard is, I just want to remind you, is risk reward 2 to 1. Now let's summarize on our strategy. I will go quickly through all the rules involved in this approach. Number one. Check one hour chart and make sure that the price is above the 200 exponential moving average and that commodity channel index with a period of 14 is in the oversold condition. On the one minute time frame, draw the trend line connecting two points. First point is the highest point established prior to the breakout of the previous high low. Second point is the highest price of the last wave down. Wait for the downtrend trend line breakout along with the second point of the trend line. Enter the buy trade when CCI exits the oversold zone, which is minus 100 level. Place the stop loss two pips below the lowest price established before the trend line breakout. Place a take profit at the first point used to draw on the trend line. Obviously, these rules must be opposite if it is a sell trade. As you can see here, we have made a total of $1,007.50 in this trade. It took us 16 hours only, so this I cannot call it a fast trade, although we did manage to reach our profit. I will zoom it in and you can see clearly where we entered the market and where we did exit the market. It was pretty good trade, although yes, the price did went down and didn't hit our stop loss. This is just goes to show you that not all trades are perfect and you can expect it to go towards your stop loss and it can even reach your stop loss and this is nothing wrong with this it can happen just follow the rules that you have and over the long period of time you should be consistent with your profit as long as you don't break your own rules thanks all for watching i hope you enjoyed these trading strategies if you did don't forget to click a like button and subscribe for the next videos. It was Victor with you from the Forex Boat. Until next time.